Welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Google Doc template. So Google Doc templates can be very helpful for if you find yourself composing the same type of doc time and time again, you can just create a template so that way it can get you a head start the next time you create that document. So you have to start from a blank page. So what I've done here is I've started a form letter with sort of some blanks that I'd fill in if I was creating a real letter and I'm going to save this as a template. That way next time I need to write a letter as the guru, I can just pull up this template and I already have a head start on what I'm doing. So what I'll do is I'll go to docs.google.com slash templates and that'll bring me to this page. And you'll see your template gallery. Then you'll want to click submit a template and you can enter a description, put it in a category. So I will put this under letters and faxes and it's English and then when I choose from my Google Docs I'll click letter template I'll click select and then I submit the template and it takes a little bit for the template to populate into the my template section but while we're waiting I'll show you another place where you can access all your templates as well as some templates that Google has created for everyone to use. So if you go to docs.google.com you will see that there is already a bunch of pre-made templates here at the top and if you click more they've created templates for nearly every type of document you might want to create whether it's a resume, business letter, educational, things like that. And then let's go back to my templates to see if that template has finished uploading. And as we can see here, the template is now saved in the My Templates section. So if we want to use this template to compose a letter, all we'd have to click is Use This Template. And it'll bring it up as a copy of that template. And we can start composing our letter. You can do this with any of the templates that exist or any of the ones that you create. I hope you found this tip to be useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.